guys, we're here with 1250 Gator Bots here at the Belleville event in Michigan. Last year, there were semifinalists of both the Livonia event and Troy Week 1. And right now, they have won six out of eight of their matches that they have played for day one. They'll be going over their note alignment for their intake, their shooter, and also their intake in general here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So first off, you guys wanted to highlight your guys' auto-centering software? Okay, yeah. So, I'm Adam. Uh, so. Our auto centering software works entirely with our intake and our entire shooter mechanism. So when the note first goes in, it gets sucked up into the barrel with, by the intake, then it trips this first sensor. That first sensor being tripped decides how fast the intaking wheels go here. Then as it moves up, it will trip these other IR sensors and we have specific counts for which one's tripped and different speeds for when which one is tripped. Then it'll eventually be centered with these two center IR sensors and it will be ready to shoot in our multiple positions for amp and speaker. So next, we're gonna de actually demonstrate how our intake works. One intake. As you can see, as I mentioned earlier, it is now aligned with the two sensors. Amp, please. We have and as seen there, it goes to its set position, which it starts its shooter wheels and fires the note. So can you walk me through how you guys' testing process was for so something like this? Well, after making the speaker and the amp in our in our shop, we, we found positions with our already constructed arm and shoulder and took the numbers of which that, uh, that it would go to. Then we would run the intake, we would run the intake system and it originally started going back and forth. So we then did PID tuning and speed tuning so it would just make it in one loop and we wouldn't have to worry about if it's centered or not when we would go to shoot at the speaker or the amp. Um, so you guys also said that you guys wanted to highlight your shooter mechanism. So we kind of talk a bit more about how that works. Yeah, can you go to uh, uh, speaker please? Speaker. Yeah. So as you see, as we go to our set position, our shooter wheels then start spinning. We have this set to a fixed number. This is about 5,000 RPM, so we can actually make the speaker shot. Then when we pull our shoot trigger, since we're already at speed, the intake the intake wheels will start, then it'll shoot our note and we can let go of the trigger and it will stop. So you guys also have a pretty neat intake. It's an under the bumper intake. Can you guys talk a bit more about that? So we originally started with a one-sided intake, but then evolved it into a double-sided intake. Can I have the note? Intake, please. Just stop. <laughs> it, it normally works, but we're usually running over. Yeah, we do have to drive over it, but but we drive over it and there is a, there is a roller under here. It's the same roller that would run over that would if we use the front intake. This is the set of wheels that we use for the back intake. Then this is our front intake. It hits, it hits, goes in. Then we'll continue to use the central alignment system that we have already created. Okay. So you guys mentioned how you moved from a single-sided intake to a double-sided intake. What was that reason for that change? We we found like not extra time, but we found more more use because we do use swerve drive and it really defeated the purpose of swerve drive and we just had a single side intake. It did take a lot of trial and error though because we, we use compression to get the note through the system. It would, it would either not compress enough or it would compress too much and not get into the original barrel. So how has the double-sided the double sided intake been working at matches here at this event? We haven't used it as much as our uh, front side, but it does work. We have proven that it works. Um, 
but we mostly say this because we know 100 that is reliable not saying that this isn't reliable but we're more comfortable with this well thank you guys so much for your time and this was 1250 gator bots here at the belleville event here on behind the bumpers this video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.